Good morning, Ann Arbor, and wherever you guys are all tuning in from. All right, you know the post-workout drill. Gotta get the hand sanitizer and Tower 28 spray. I just went on a whim the other day, guys, and ordered like a bunch of other stuff from Tower 28. So we're gonna have to review that together when it comes. But hi, good morning. I literally woke up at 7.35. And I have to leave for Seoul at 7.45 in order to make it there on time because it's a bit of a walk away. And it was raining. So I did not get to speak with you guys this morning, but I did take a few clips getting ready. But it was a good class. I'm glad I like got my butt up and actually went because when my alarm went off, I just literally kept snoozing it. Hence why I woke up at 7.35 and I think my alarm was set for like 7.15. I went to bed at 10 and I feel like I literally had three different like REM sleeps. Like I woke up at midnight and I was up for a little and then I woke up at like five and I was up for a little and I felt like I could have gotten up for the day at all those times but I was like no like let's go back to bed it was weird but I got my aura ring yesterday and I was honestly really curious to see what they would say that my sleep score is because like last night was a really like weird and like long but broken up sleep for me and my sleep score was an 82 which is not like great it said I got eight hours and 15 minutes of sleep and my restfulness was like low, which I think is right because I was like tossing and turning a lot. It's so cool though. It says like your REM sleep, deep sleep. I just like, I like looking at it. Although I woke up this morning like so tired, my readiness score is 91, which means like I'm ready to take on the day. I honestly felt like I was like breathing really heavily in that soul class and I couldn't really breathe that well, but I guess we'll listen to the aura ring. I took my hair down on my way back. I washed it yesterday, so I want to like keep it for today. So I just took it out of the ponytail. I don't think I showed you my fit this morning, but this is an Aritzia tank top. Whoa, under Ritzia sports bra, Lulu leggings, aloe socks. Literally the first three things I could see this morning because once again, I was running behind. Okay, I'm pretty tired still. So I think that calls for making a coffee. Guys, I'm in such a bad habit these days where I want to just get a coffee out every day and I need to stop. Like my coffee at home tastes just as good and it's literally the same ingredients. So I don't really know what's going on with me. I just like feel like when I buy a coffee out, the caffeine like hits me better, which is so random. Let's make a coffee and get this day started because I was gonna say it's a beautiful day to be alive. It's a dreary day, but it is still a beautiful day to be alive. The coffee is hitting so good today. I feel like I need to get like whipped cream or something to add, even though this is like such a sweet coffee, but that's how I like my coffee. All right, now it's time to set the vibes. Let's switch out my affirmation for the day and light a candle. This is like oddly my favorite part of the morning. First try, let's go. A new affirmation. I have the freedom to live life on my own terms. I love that. I did find out the other day that those affirmation things that I got sent, you're supposed to put like one in and like leave it for a whole week because there's like 52 so that it would last you the whole year. And I have been switching them out every single day. So I think we're just going to repeat them once I use up 52 days or maybe they have like other packs of affirmations. I don't know, but I really like having a new one every morning and then I can like think about it throughout the day. So whatever, I'm just gonna do that. Okay, this is a interesting thing to bring up right now. My calf is like in so much pain, my left calf. And I thought I was kind of like being dramatic yesterday about it. Like I went on a walk and I was like, oh, that kind of hurts. But it like affected the way I was doing Soul Cycle today. And I don't really know what to do about it. I already like theragunned it. I need to like roll it out, I think, but I hope that nothing's like legitimately wrong because that would just not be fun. But it like really hurts. It feels like I know nothing's torn because I wouldn't have been able to like do Soul Cycle, but it feels like the sensation feels like something's tearing, if that makes sense. Using some lip mask. I'm gonna chill here and drink my coffee for a little and wake up and then we'll start to be productive. Oops, I put my sweatshirt on and sit out. I'm all up in the clouds when I'm born, babe. Made the bed. Let's pick out an outfit for the day. I honestly think I'm gonna go with a sweat set because it's raining, so I probably deserve to be <laughs> comfy. Let's see which ones we have clean. My sweatshirts seriously like take over my whole closet. I probably need to like get rid of some before the summer. We could do one of my aloe ones that I wear literally every day. I'm gonna rinse off in the shower and then put on the sweatshirt and sweatpants and be cozy. Okay, I'm watching Brooke Michio's like moving video. Even though I have no plans to move to New York and I'm also not looking at the same 
priced homes that she is for probably years to come, but it's still fun to watch. But I just took a little shower, and now since we washed my face, we're gonna do some skincare. My skincare recently has been making my face feel so, actually so smooth. I am getting a little bit of breakouts, so I'm trying to be consistent. That's really all that's going on. I also introduced the serum back into my skincare routine. The Caudalie Vino Perfect. I forgot how much I freaking love this thing. I think I stopped using it because I don't have that much left. And I got it when I was in Europe. So it was like way cheaper than it is now. It's really pretty expensive in the US. I think this is what's been making my face feel so smooth. And I love it. Let's do a little bit of Lumi Glotion with my lotion this morning. Because, you know, I could always use a little bit of extra glow. They should just make a face cream that automatically has like glow stuff in it. Okay, they probably actually do that. And I'm probably like really... Really dumb right now but also another product that i've been implementing into my everyday skincare is under eye cream because i feel like i've just been noticing when i'm tired recently that it like it really accentuates under my eyes and bubble sent me this brightening eye cream i thought it was caffeinated but now that i'm looking at it it's just not caffeinated but a little goes a long way because your under eyes obviously aren't that big. But yeah, that's the makeup routine. That was a makeup routine. Skincare routine. Okay, I just posted a TikTok of like things I've learned being single in college. I was really nervous to post it, but I made it doing like my skincare the other day. And honestly, I just need to care less what people think. So I'm posting it. Hopefully that gets good feedback. But I'm like really tired right now and hungry. So I think I'm gonna make a smoothie because I got like smoothie ingredients the other day at the store. Let's go do that together. Where is the lid to this? Smoothie rating is low-key a low number out of 10. It's kind of my fault. I forgot we didn't have ice. So it's like really smooth because I actually put like one piece of ice in there. Like it tastes more like chocolate milk than a smoothie. Also the yogurt I got from Trader Joe's. I wasn't really looking at what kind of yogurt it was and it's called like European style and it's really like sour. It tastes kind of like tart. So now the whole smoothie kind of tastes like that. Mm -mm -mm. Hey guys, here's the dinner vibes. I have leftover chicken and orzo and I put it with arugula and chickpeas. I'm having a lemonade. I just got off my second class which is like my most boring class but crazy uh, announcement crazy turn of events my friend and i got invited to a formal crazy in chicago which if you know that's where i live while well, i live in the suburbs but if we go i haven't really received a formal invite but if we go that means i'm gonna go home for a little this weekend because i'll probably go home if i'm gonna be in chicago the day's been fine and i'm home for the night thank god because it's so gross outside i gotta show you this it's like windy and raining so the rain like hits you in the face it's horrible that's not gonna focus but maybe you can still see the rainy day vibes it's just not a vibe out there let's eat dinner i'll probably wind down and start grinding okay it's been a minute it's still raining is somebody playing the recorder outside i don't know what that was so a little update we are in fact going to formal my friend Belf and I, which is really exciting. I'm most excited because it was gonna be like just me and her home this weekend anyways, because all of our friends are in Nashville for formal and we were like the only ones that weren't going, us and like two of our other friends. So I'm excited to be out of town since like most people were gonna be out of town anyways. And I'm most excited because this means I'm gonna go home on Sunday and then come back to Ann Arbor on Monday since I don't have classes that I need to go to on Monday and I love home, especially for a day. Like it's just gonna be so rejuvenating after what I'm sure will be like a long weekend of drinking to go home and like sleep in my bed and see my family. I already booked a workout class at my favorite yoga studio, Toned Yoga, which you guys have definitely heard about from my home vlogs last summer so that's really exciting and we're going to like a cubs game i'm sure we'll have like a bar rental or something i'm really excited like what a random term of events i had no idea this was gonna happen when i woke up this morning but i need to grind on homework now that i'm not gonna be here this weekend i had so many plans to do like so much this weekend homework wise but now obviously I'm not gonna be doing that so we need to grind out at least one of two essays that i need to do it's 10 30. i was just working on my essay in bed got my pajamas on and we're going to bed love you guys good morning let's wake up Okay, I clearly need to get myself together a little. I just woke up, but I'm doing a little bit of a later workout class than usual. My friend and I are doing 9.45 Orange Theory, so I was able to get up and make a coffee this morning, which I never am able to if you guys watch my vlogs before. I'm always like maybe taking a sip of coffee or energy drink and then running out of the door for soul. But it was nice to sleep in, make a coffee. Now I have like 
30 minutes to get ready for class. I can like chill for a little. I'm into it. Maybe I will start working out a little later in the day, but I don't know because I also like to get up early. Oh, first let's check my aura ring sleep score. I kind of feel like it's messing with my head. Like I woke up in the middle of the night last night and I was like, you shouldn't get up and pee because it's gonna like mess with your activity score. But I always get up in the middle of the night and pee so I don't want it to be like inaccurate. My readiness is 88, sleep score 83. It said that everything was good except for I didn't get much deep sleep. I'm gonna get ready a little bit, drink a little coffee, maybe listen to a podcast and I'll check back when I'm ready. I love the morning. OOTD Lulu tank top. That's my favorite tank top to work out in, honestly. The best. And then ASICS shorts. And then aloe socks and hokas. Let's go run and have a good workout. I totally forgot my camera even though I said I was gonna bring it but the workout was good I'll explain more when I get home and now I'm waiting in the bear claw coffee line It's my favorite coffee shop in Ann Arbor and we're gonna get a coffee and then I have a call in 10 minutes So I think I'm just gonna take it in my car while I drink my coffee. So that's what's up Bear claw back from the workout and making breakfast and another coffee because I'm still kind of tired but breakfast vibes are I have so much yogurt, so I'm trying to use it. I told you guys it was like a kind of a weird taste, so I'm mixing in honey with it in hopes that that will make it like a little sweeter. And then I want to put like granola on top. I don't think I have any, but I do have these little magic spoon treats, so I might crumple one of these on top, and that would be good because I love these little treats anyways. And then it'll be like a little yogurt parfait situation. I wish I had like fruit or something to put on it, but I don't. So this is what we'll work with. This is what the treat looks like. This one's blueberry muffin flavor which is typically like not my kind of flavor and it's so good for some reason. What a good view you guys are getting. This is probably gonna hit. We will do a little bit of honey on top of this too, just to make sure it's sweet enough for my liking. Very excited to eat that. All right, gonna make my coffee and then we'll feast. Second coffee is made, hitting hard. I'm gonna eat my breakfast and drink this in a great mood. Mm -mm. Checking in a little later, I just had a meeting. Well, I didn't just have a meeting, but I had a meeting like an hour ago and then I've been grinding on my essay ever since. The essay is due Saturday at midnight, so I'm going to finish it now so that I'm not stressed. And also I should just like finish any other work that I have for the week so I don't have to do it while I'm in Chicago. I literally just like keep snacking. Like while I study, not study, while I write this essay, I like literally just keep snacking and snacking and snacking, which is not good, but it's keeping me focused, I guess. I have a class in 20 minutes online and then I have a class at five in person. It's my only in-person class today. And then I'm gonna have dinner with my roommates and we're going out tonight, so. But yeah, that's what's going on. I'm gonna keep grinding on this essay, but just wanted to update you guys. Hey, I finished my essay, woo! I need to edit it, but that's for later. But now I'm taking a little break to try on some stuff before I need to go to class. Here's the first thing. I just made a TikTok, but I don't know if I should keep this aloe set. Like I like it, but I don't, I'm not like obsessed with it. Like I don't know if I'd wear it that much. I don't love the back of it. It has like these bra clips and I don't really like when sports bras like clip up like a bra. Like, I don't know. I just don't like that. I also really like the cut of it. It's very supportive, but this is like fuzzy and so is this. And I don't know. It's not giving like workout, but it's like fuzzy. So I don't really know what to do. Like it's so sturdy and it's really cute. I don't know, I asked my TikTok. Hopefully you guys agree with whatever I end up doing, either returning it or not. But I'm thinking that I just maybe return it for one that I like already, like a different color in the set that I already have. Next, we're gonna try on this dress from Princess Polly because I've been meaning to try this on. And then we're probably gonna have to go return some things because I don't know if either of these will fit. Okay, this can definitely stay in the closet. What a good basic, just a nice, Form-fitting black mini dress, long sleeve. I'm not wearing a bra. I feel like it would look better with a bra, but I can definitely see myself layering this for the summer or just wearing it as is with like boots or sneakers. It's cute. So at least one thing worked. Hey vlog, it's a couple hours later. I definitely vlogged to you a little bit at my dinner. I just went over to my like old roommates. We have dinner every Wednesday. So we made dinner together and ate it. And then I went over to another friend's house and grabbed some outfits for this weekend. And then I ran home because we have plans at nine and it is 9.01, so perfect timing. Changed really quickly. 
throw on some more makeup. We're going to country night at our local bar, which would be really fun. It's every Wednesday. My outfit's not anything crazy, but I didn't really like plan to wear anything crazy. Basically, if you wear a hat or boots, you get free cover. So I'm wearing cowboy boots. Obviously, we're getting that free cover. And yeah, I'm kind of like sweating. You know, you get ready like so quick and you're literally sweating. That's what's going on. I need to blow out my hair a little bit. Here's my outfit. Let me show you guys. Just wearing a denim skirt and this long sleeve and then boots. So honestly, kind of boring. But whatever, does the trick. We're country Wednesdaying. I don't know how much I'm gonna drink because I wanna like work out and like be a human tomorrow. So we'll see. But we're gonna pregame for Sarah's birthday and it's gonna be fun. Good morning. Woke up this morning in the best way possible. Went to my favorite coffee shop and brought my friends like watching a dog right now. So we brought the dog along and it was so cute. <laughs> Look what you get! Like, um, yay! She got a pup cup. Now I'm home feeling much more energized from the coffee. I really needed one this morning. I was a little sleepy from going out last night. Now we're gonna clean my room, get the day started. It's 10 a.m. So, woo! Let's light a candle, make the bed, set the vibes. You know the drill. Baby is for 30. Okay, hi guys. This morning was kind of chaotic. I woke up and got coffee as I told you and then everyone was kind of like hanging out in my room. So I didn't really record that much, but what I've been up to is working on my essay, the same one as yesterday. It's like pretty much done. I just have to submit it. So that's good news. I didn't get the chance to work out this morning because I woke up kind of late and then I just like started working and now I like have class in an hour. So I'm gonna go to Seoul at either 5.30 or 6.30. I actually like didn't even join the waitlist for Seoul. I really should do that. Anyways, I'm putting on a workout set just so I don't need to like change later and I'll just wear this throughout the day. I'm listening to Alex Earl's podcast about their family trip and it's actually like really funny. What we need to do later is pack. I asked the people that we're going to formal with when we're leaving tomorrow and I have not received a response. So if it's like late enough in the day, maybe I'll just pack tomorrow, but I should probably pack today to be safe. And that's what's going on. I think we're going to go out tonight even though that's probably not a good idea because like we're going on a road trip into a formal tomorrow but maybe i'll just like not really drink like last night last night was so fun because it was country night at the bar genuinely country music is like my friend group and i is like jam like we love country music they were just like playing amazing songs and some of our friends our bartenders there and they were like letting us request songs so we were like requesting all of our favorite songs gonna go to soul later here's my fit this bra from set leggings shoes i don't know if i told you guys yesterday but i did do a little bit of shopping at the set active sale they have like a huge sale yesterday and i got another sports bra that's literally like this but like thicker straps what i else oh i also got a pj set which i'm so excited about i'll check in with you guys in a little bus dinner bus coffee Woo. whenever i show my food it's when i'm like about to eat it and i'm like so hungry so i never talk about it but i just had leftovers from yesterday grilled chicken well there's people like running outside my house right now grilled chicken arugula and rice and it was good there's so many people out on the town right now i'm getting really distracted but i'm like confused where everyone's going it's 7 50 like maybe the bar i think they're going to the bar you guys which is insane because it's like so early like i'm not planning to go for another two hours good news my friend won this at soul cycle today Rick's line skip because the line's usually like two hours long for me and a friend and there's only three of us going out tonight and one of them already is a skip so we can just skip the line tonight Woo. dinner was good I just turned in my essay which is awesome what I've been working on for the past few days and now we need to pack for the weekend trip because we're leaving tomorrow morning and we're going out tonight so I don't want to like have to pack in the morning or pack tonight obviously I don't know how late of a night it's gonna be I have a packing list on my phone and I know my outfits so it shouldn't be that hard but I'm also going home for a day so we need to like bring that stuff too let's pack I don't think that you guys need to like look at me like go through my clothes and everything because it's like boring I'm just gonna lay everything in my bed and then once everything's laid on my bed I'll like go through what I'm bringing okay gonna do this before the sun sets because it's about to set but I laid everything out, I think. Two jackets. I got a brown leather jacket and a black one. This is a top for during the day and two pairs of jeans. This is some tanks and a plain shirt and pajamas, just one pair. And then these are like going out tops because we have like four events. So I low-key need them. A dress and a skirt for the formal night. I don't know what I'm wearing yet. And then one of the nights is like jeans and a top. I don't know what I'm wearing yet either. This is just like extra for comfy for home. One workout set because I'm gonna work out at home. Fireball and uh, long drink. 
underwear and bras, whatever, whatever. And then I need to pack my toiletries, skincare and stuff, but I have to do my makeup before I do that. Hopefully that all fits in that. Carry on. gonna be the end i hope you guys enjoyed i hope it was entertaining i love you guys so make sure you subscribe if you liked this vlog if you want to see more vlogs bye you went to a party i heard from everybody